What is up YouTube, welcome back to the video and today we are going to be talking about a possible new mode in NASCAR 4, just future NASCAR Heat games. Before we get into that, make sure you like, hit the subscribe button if you guys are new and yeah, so I apologize for, um, I don't know, I think I took another two week break. I didn't, I honestly didn't mean to and I had these, like I had this video ready to record and like, you know, make uh last monday but then it's just like i just never could get around to doing it but hopefully uh i'm able and the the slide job podcast we're kind of in a little hiatus as well um we just kind of last week we had some issues this week again in richmond we had issues as well so uh hopefully we'll be able to have that back out next week but i don't know a definitive time and date for that so anyways i apologize for kind of slacking or not even kind of i'm just slacking and uh hopefully i I'm, I'm gonna try my best to turn it around but without further ado let's go ahead and get into the video so do you guys remember back in nascar 14 nascar 15 or it wouldn't be it'd just be 2015 a game called nascar manager for uh, apple i don't know if it's on android and all that uh it came out it was a really fun game you would be you would basically be a crew chief except every once in a while you would go in and you know play out a situation like oh avoid this wreck oh uh, here's the restart, you know, stuff like that. You would play that out, but for the most part, you would be the crew chief. You would manage your driver's um, fuel and tires. You would, like say, hey, you know, we need we need to save the tires, so slow it down a little bit. Or hey, you're good for the rest of the race, so you can go all out. And that was a really fun game. And I, I mean, I think it would still be a very playable game if there. Were, and I know there's a glitch, but I, it's just it takes too much effort. Um, it, it would really still be a fun game today if it didn't have energy points and obviously I don't think NASCAR you would have it but you know NASCAR Heat 4 there I think it's probably too late now for NASCAR Heat 4 to have this game mode feature I feel like they would already have had the thought of it for it to be featured but maybe for future NASCAR Heat games a crew chief mode um, could be a very valuable I mean a valuable mode to the game and, and any mode you can add especially with NASCAR is better it, it generates you know maybe more people are wanting to play you know GM mode like I would probably honestly play GM more than uh, or I guess it'd be manager or whatever uh, more than career mode probably but you know the more modes you can add the more people that are the longer people are going to play because we're going to play each and every mode and yeah and there's been a lot of modes brought up I mean there was two in the survey that caught my eye uh, a couple, uh, it was about a month ago actually, uh, and it was the Legends mode where you would drive Legend cars, obviously, and I don't know if that would mean Legend tracks as well. I didn't, I didn't catch that. And then also an online career mode, which is all, which are both great modes, and I feel like probably one of the two will be in the upcoming game. And another one IDK player mentioned was, or mentioned IDK player made a video about was a GM mode, and if you guys want to go see what that is all about go check it out I'm not going to get into that because you know it's already out there no sense in re reiterating what he said but anyway today we're going to be talking about a crew chief mode and why I think it would bring a lot what how I think it should be made and what I think it would bring to the NASCAR Heat franchise so a crew chief mode to start you could probably start off in any series that you want and you could either like work your way up through the ranks starting at the truck series to the cup series or you could just start at the cup series if that's what your heart so desires uh, and there you could have it on different difficulties, you know, obviously hard, medium, and easy. I don't know, was it medium? Or normal, normal, I think is the middle one. Uh, and so you could have that, and then there you have different crew chiefing strategies, and you could have an aggressive strategy where you are more likely to, uh, you know, like I say, there's five laps to go, and you, everybody else is pitting, and you stay out. You that would mean you're probably more likely to be an aggressive one. And if that pays off and you get, you know, a certain finish, then you can get extra XP because that is your ability. And I'd say another one would probably be, you know, kind of neutral. You don't, you know, you don't overstep, but you're not too safe. You know, you're kind of in the middle. I don't know what it would really be, you know, an XP, but then, uh, you know, a safe crew chief. If you're a crew chief that doesn't really gamble a lot and if you stay with the pack and get a good finish maybe you get more xp i don't know that i mean that's probably not the best kind of setup but you get what i mean like you have different styles of crew chiefing and whichever one you pick if you stick with that style of crew chiefing then 
you will earn more XP uh, than you would going with another style of crew chiefing. And another thing is during the race, which you would maybe there'd be like kind of like a sim cast type thing, like you know on 2K or I believe like like a track map, but then it's just you're watching, you know, you're looking at data and stuff like that. Um, and it's it's kind of like that kind of thing. It's just another reason I think they would probably have to make it in NASCAR Eat Five or something like that. Gosh, we're already talking about NASCAR Eat Five. That's crazy. Um, anyways, so you would you would watch through there and you're like seeing oh my drivers you know he's eating up his tires too much if we want to make it at this point you know you have like your fuel window and stuff like that you have how much and all of that so and you have say hey drivers slow it down and you know try or not slow it down but you know kind of try and save your tires you know just like it, what you would think a regular crew chief would do and and then you can communicate you know maybe with other people i don't know but and then as you go throughout the ranks, your skills become better and better and your uh, ability to make a strategy work becomes better and better. And even the car improves because a crew chief is not just a crew chief. The crew chief also works on the cars. He has a say in uh, the setup of the car. And, you know, it's a lot of people might think that it is just a crew chief just sits on the box and tells the driver what to do. No, it's, he definitely does a lot more than that. And I think this game mode could really help figure this out. But, you know, maybe you start out on the small truck team and then, you know, you get your big break and get onto a big truck team and, you know, just move your way through or just do whatever you want. Have different, different, um, you know, difficulties and all of that. And I think it would be a really fun mode that would be very playable along with a, with a GM mode and the career mode. So... I think it'd be a really fun mode. Make sure to comment down below. What are you guys' thoughts? Do you think there should be a crew chief mode in an upcoming NASCAR Heat game? If not, tell me why you think this would be maybe too hard or just not fun. And uh, any tweaks you think I should make or should be made to what I said. And that's all I got for today. Make sure you leave a like. Hit that subscribe button if you all are new. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.